folks. In this video I'm going to show you how to determine whether you have a bad battery or a bad alternator in your vehicle. Okay, today's subject, this is a Honda. Um, I don't know what kind of Honda this is. I'll tell you here in just a minute. A Honda Pilot, a four-wheel drive. On this vehicle, it's a 3.5 um, I VTEC motor and the battery is in the front of the driver right behind the headlight now let me go ahead and try to start this car it, it wouldn't start this morning so I'm uh, gonna find out what's wrong okay, folks this car will not start let me uh, go in here and try to key it's it's dead That's all we get. Hang on, let's let this motorcycle go by. Okay, let's test our voltage. Looks like we got about eight and a half volts. That's it. That's not enough. What I'm using here is a uh, just a regular, regular voltage meter. I got it set on DC at 20 volts. Uh, eight volts is not going to be enough to start this car. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to get a battery charger like this. This is made for um, this type of a problem. I'm going to get this battery charger on here. And right now I know I got a dead battery, but I don't know why. We're going to get this car to start by getting enough charge in it. And then we're going to test the alternator. Um, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, I have this battery charger set on 12 volts and it's putting in 6 amps. This is not a trickle charge, this is a faster charge just so I can get this thing started. So I'm going to let this charge for about 5 or 10 minutes and come back and see what happens. By the way, when hooking up your uh, battery terminals from your charger to your battery, you want to hook up red to red and negative to negative. Black is negative and red is positive, of course. Don't hook that up backwards. Make sure that you pay close attention to uh, how you hook that up. Okay, everybody, what I'm going to do is when I get this car running, I'm going to check the voltage at the battery with the alternator turning, and I should be getting a reading of uh, 12 above maybe 13, 14 uh, volts. That right there is going to tell me that the alternator is putting out, but the battery is bad and it's not holding a charge, it's, or it's not taking a charge. We'll see what happens here, folks. We'll be right back. We're going to let this thing charge up, if it'll charge, and uh, start. Okay, I've got it started. Now what I want to do is I want to unhook my battery charger. First thing I'm going to do, reach in here and unhook. Take the positive off. Take the negative off. Try to be careful not to let those two touch. Put those somewhere safe. This is plastic, so... It is safe to hook that to that because plastic does not conduct electricity. So that's safe there. You may even want to unplug. Go ahead and unplug your battery charger. That's the safest thing to do. Now, with this vehicle running, I'm going to test the voltage again. Go ahead and hook up my positive. Touch my positive in there. It's going to be hard to do with one hand and a camera. And I'll go over here and touch my negative, and I see that I'm getting 14 volts with a nearly dead battery. What that tells me, folks, is my alternator is good, but this battery is weak. For some reason, this battery's been drained down. All right? What needs to happen now is I'm going to put this on a trickle charge overnight and see if I can bring this battery back up. And uh, after that, we'll take it to the AutoZone where they can put it on a more uh, in-depth test to uh, see whether it is indeed good or bad. But as of right now, we know that we have a good alternator, but and we possibly have a bad battery. 
folks, you can pretty much assume that if you use your vehicle every day, uh, or multiple times a day especially, go to work, come home from work, shopping, whatever, and, and you're, you're running your car, and this is uh, the symptoms that you're having and the uh, outcome that you get with these tests that I just ran, you can pretty much assume that you have a bad battery. Okay, your battery is not charging, but your alternator is putting out the correct amount of voltage. Your battery just won't take it. So, you can prepare yourself to buy a battery and uh, pretty much guarantee you're going to need a battery. If, you're, if your alternator is putting out voltage, but your battery keeps going dead, buy a new battery. Thanks for watching, folks. It's Rednecks Gone Wild. This is the simplest video there is. It's just, you know, you got to have a battery charger or jumper cables to jump the car off to get it started in to beginning to uh, test it with a voltmeter. Also, you must have your voltmeter. Um, if you don't have a battery charger, you can just use jumper cables and another vehicle and get it started so you can uh, run the test. But anyway, thanks for watching, folks. RednecksGoneWild.com